afternoon guys. Today is going to be a very quick what's in my fridge video. I haven't actually checked what's in my fridge since yesterday so hopefully it's all still looking fine. Jack's here with me too, aren't you? Do you want to say hi? Hi. I hate food waste so for me it's really important to maintain like a good fridge so that I know what's in it and I don't have food that goes off. It's actually quite tricky to have enough in the fridge but also not waste food, if you know what I mean. What I'll do during the week is keep recipes that I want to be making beside the fridge so I've like got them in my mind. And so when I'm out and about, if I need things, I'll just pick them up. And yeah, I have shelves for different things that I keep quite strictly. I'm not organised in any aspect of my life, except my fridge, weirdly. So let's go. Da -da -da -dum. Okay, let's start with the fresh stuff. So, down here are the fruit and vegetables. There's not much logic to what goes where. Let's have a look. The other day when we got these courgettes, Jack started munching on them right there and then in the shop. I didn't really object, but as a consequence, we now have courgettes with bite marks in them. I'm eating it. You're eating it. Um, we've got a red pepper down there, some aubergines and a cabbage. In here, what have we got? got a mango in here some mushrooms I'm gonna actually pull it out some kind of sorry looking apples I might make that one into an apple puree a lime and yeah this mango that needs eating up here so I keep my veggies here I then keep stuff that needs eating or like leftovers and fresh herbs here and then up there is my dairy shelf and up there is bread and meat if we have it for the kids ever. So that's kind of my vague organisation. So let's have a look. So in And the sides as well, which we'll go through. So in here we've got a bowl of cauliflower and onion. I don't tend to cover vegetables, I just leave them open. We've got sort of what I call my curry box. So I've got chilli and lemon and ginger at the bottom and then I keep <laughs> my garlic out the fridge. Some pak choy and some sort of sorry looking spinach. We've got some celery and some leeks, a piece of broccoli and then in this bowl I've got some curly kale that needs eating, a very muddy parsnip thanks to Farm Drop who I'm going to talk about later who are my new faves. Okay what have we got up here? Here I think yeah is some leftover cereal from the kids this morning. My mint and coriander at the back and then what I'll do is keep chopping off the stalks a little bit to keep it fresh and then at the back there I've got some chickpeas and then here it's some leftover beans from the kids. Here is some hummus that I made and then here at the back is some tofu. What I love about tofu is that it keeps for ages. I haven't tried this brand out, tofu, so I'm excited about them. I usually get the cauldron. I've got some flaxseed that I put on the kids cereal. It's just an amazing source of fibre. And then here, oh my gosh, these are incredible. My mother-in-law got them for me. Organic dark chocolate Belgian thins. Oh, they're so good. Um, and then right at the back, what have we got? Some organic tomato passata. Up here, okay, I've got some Greek yogurt. This is the dairy shelf. Some ricotta, two packs of eggs and some butter. I tend to spend quite a lot on dairy produce because I like to get nice dairy produce given that we're not eating meat. So the money I save on the meat, I get on nice dairy stuff. Then up here, just some bread and some Bayana rye bread, which I am obsessed with. And a lone pit of bread. Moving on to the shelves. Here is where we keep our chocolate. It's mainly Sam's stash because I have that other stuff I showed you. So he loves this lint. And then we have some cheese up here, a block of parmesan, and some cheddar. I'm really struggling to reach. Okay, now what about the jars? So I am a jar fiend. Here we've got some brown miso, some white miso. Miso keeps for ages, which is why I love it. Some jam, some Dijon mustard, some pesto, and this is like a sun-dried tomato sauce. And then moving down, more jars, black olives, green olives, mayo, I don't really eat that but Sam and the boys like it, Cholula hot sauce which is epic, more mayo, some maple syrup, and down here we have got our oat milk, and this is another brand of oat milk that I recently tried, some white wine, maybe we'll open that tonight, ketchup, again the kids like that obviously, some okonomiyaki sauce which goes with like this Japanese pancake and a beer. So that is kind of it 
guys. First and foremost, I will just always try and buy fruit and veg that is zero packaging. Yeah, that's it guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you've got any other ideas for food related videos. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!